And we, we can see how important it is for both the adult and the student. Yes. That's wonderful. Carl, if I can ask you a few questions. I'd like to know why you decided to be a mentor at Malloy. Well, the reason I wanted to be a mentor at Malloy is because I believe this is an opportunity for me to give back to the, co the, um, the community mm -hmm. and um, be a positive role model to these kids so, so they can move on and prosper and they strive to success in education. Can you tell us a little more about what you do to help the kids? I mean, what goes on in your mentoring sessions, for example? Okay, what I try to do is help them with their homework. I try to um, help them solve problems. Like, for instance, I might ask them questions. Like, um, let's say if there was a situation they were fighting, I might ask them a situation like, um, how would you, um, what would you do in that situation? How would you do to not be in that situation to fight? Mm -hmm. And I also um, try to make sure that the kids are comfortable with me um, so they could ask me, um, come to me for advice. I see. That's very interesting. You, you, you make much of developing a relationship with them. And once you have that relationship, you help rehearse situations with them. Because you know how it is with kids. Sometimes they don't see things coming because they don't have the experience base that we as adults have. And so you rehearse with them what might lead to problems, and then alternatives for resolving those problems. That sounds like what you were talking about Absolutely. earlier. Right. I see. Exactly. So, for Carl, what's the toughest part for you in working with these kids? Well, for me, the toughest part is probably not having enough time. I wish that I had at least a, a little bit more time to work with the kids, because I believe I, I have an even greater impact on them. How much time do you spend with the kids? I gather you do it several days a week? or um, Yes, I um, spend at least two hours, um, four days a week. Oh, my goodness. Two hours, four days a week? <laughs> yes. You're a busy man. Mm -hmm. But I wish I had more because you know, I could have a, even, I mean, a better impact on them. It's interesting. What's frustrating for you is you don't have more time available to be more helpful. Yes. I think that's a credit to you, Carl. Absolutely. So... What changes have you noted in the students that you've worked with? And you've well, seen oh, changes sorry. over time. You go right ahead. What okay. changes have you seen? Well, um, I've seen many changes. Well, with um, first the homework, they are now doing their homework now, and not just doing their homework. They're asking each other how they done their homework, making sure that each other ah. does their homework. They um, also are finding better solutions to avoid conflict. Um, they also love to come to me for advice. They feel really comfortable coming to me um, for advice. I could see that why that might be the case, Carl. I find it interesting. You talk about that they develop a new way of relating to their peers. So their peers become not just someone you can tussle or argue with, but their peers become a source of support as well. So you strengthen their ability to relate to people their own age in a constructive way, and then they carry that with them and can make new friendships and strengthen them as time goes on. Yes. That's a big job. Oh, yeah. It's a big job. <laughs> Perhaps, Carl, uh, the Percy Jackson Center is located in Hempstead. Yeah. <clears throat> You're familiar with the Hempstead community, um, are you not? Yes, sir. I am. Um, I have been living in Hempstead for at least 22 years, and I um, am going to Malloy College, and I am very happy to be working with the kids because um, I believe that I can help them out. You can give back to the community yes. from, that you came from. You, you must reflect on your own life, okay. you know, and, and look back on your own life and influences on your life and use that introspection to help you be a better mentor. Maybe you could tell us a little about that process. Is that well, yes. Um, well, when I was younger, my grandparents were drug abusers. Not my grandparents, my mother and my father with drug abusers, and my grandparents really were that positive influence that made me where I am today. Um, when I was um, younger, there was um, expectations that I'd probably grow, grow up to be retarded, and I guess I proved them wrong because right now, um, in college, um, a mentor helping out other kids achieve their goals. So you're a living example of how other adults in your life Partly your parents, but grandparents and other adults can help you learn those skills necessary so that you now want to give back to the community in the way that you felt you received. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you should be very proud. Thank you for joining us.
We're running a little short of time, Liz. I'm wondering if you can tell our viewers who they can contact and how, if they would like to get more information about service learning and the mentoring uh, program at Malloy College. Sure, they can call the college directly at 678-5000, and they can reach me at 6672, and we will be more than happy to speak with them and talk about the various different programs we have and how they can become a part of the mentoring programs. Okay. Thanks for being with us today. Carl Wise, Elizabeth shankman Casale, Service Learning Coordinator at Malloy College in Rockville Center. In the Gospel of Mark, it is written that Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Service learning, like the mentoring program at Malloy College, offers opportunities for young people to use their talents to serve others. As Paul explains in his letter to the Ephesians, what, that whatever good thing one does, he will receive back from the Lord, whether slave or free. Carl Wise and other students mentoring young counterparts around Long Island demonstrate for us that Catholic social teaching can be and ought to be a reality in our lives if we wish to increase the common good to build a community of spirit. I'm Dr. Ken Amon. Thanks for watching.